think about What's up guys, welcome back. We're doing another test drive today in a 1966 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. This one's patina with the long bed. No power steer, no power brakes. Looks like it's got electric fan on the radiator here. 350 under the hood. And of course I like taking them down the road so you know what you're getting before you get here. Drum brakes all the way around. Aftermarket set of wheels. Three on a tree. It's got wood in the bed. Should be pretty fun. Look at the 100 detailed pictures we provide inside, out, and underneath on all of our rides. All you have to do is go to maplemotors.com. You'll also find all of our inventory, financing, and shipping. For now, hit subscribe, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out the interior. Place your bats. Got a grand steering wheel. Does the horn work? We'll go ahead and start her up here. It's showing 23,000 miles. Can't stand behind that in a 66 model. Push the clutch, turn the key. She starts up pretty good. Oil pressure's climbing away. Got great oil pressure in this ride. Engine temperature's still low. Let's see if I can get the radio to work. The volume is up, but I don't know what's going on. Hold on not paired we'll get off of bluetooth then and just turn it off i don't know how there we go tuner all right so hey it's working so radio does work cup holders in the floor the mat's a little bit older in this one the dash looks about the same as the paint the interior the seat's got a nice seat cover on it i'm sure it's tore up underneath this seat cover looking around the interior your visor's missing the fabric. Let's see. Try some stuff. Wipers. And they do work. That switch feels extra loose, though. Blower motor's cutting on. So you should have heat. Think. Yep. Turn signals. No, they're not popping up on the dash. But we'll be checking them throughout the video. Horn! Did you place your bets? Nope, horn's not working. Let's go ahead and hit the road. We'll see how this thing runs and drive. Sweet. I don't think we even need gas. It's got half a tank. I'll be watching and seeing if it's moving around on the dash there. All right. This is the first time I've driven this, so I'm gonna have to get used to this clutch. There's reverse force. Clutch actually feels good. The gas gauge is floating around too, half a tank. Clutch is letting off right there at about 75 percent of course no power steering so you got that going on there we're going to run up to our new spot and get these outside shots i'm going to do some slow-mo undercarriage and then i'm going to do picking out the flaws that's where i walk around we'll check the lower panels on this truck and uh see if i can find some defects All right, let's roll out. Well, that seems to shift out pretty good there. If I let go of the steering wheel though, it does have a left pull, so it'll gradually go to the left. This is just an in-town cruiser truck, and I say that because you're only going to get about 50 mile an hour out of it. You could probably get 60, but I wouldn't be pushing it because you're going to end up messing the motor up. Got some slack in the steering there, you can see. Heavy on traffic today. It is the afternoon. Check our brakes. We're getting too close to people here. A little bit of a right pull when I hit the brakes. They are drum brakes. Manual drum at that. Engine temperature looks like it's at 185 now, so that's good. Getting used to that clutch.
okay. We pulled into our parking lot here. Let's go ahead and get these outside shots. Undercarriage stuff is coming up next. Begging out the flaws at the end. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so the brake does work. We got good running temperature. We got decent oil pressure. And we're gonna take off, head on back to the lot. Of course, I already did the walk around video here in the parking lot. I'm liking this parking lot. I'm gonna come here from now on. Truck's 100% easier to drive after a little practice. Now I just gotta wait on some traffic. This is what happens at five o'clock. <laughs> I think we're clear after this blue car. As long as they'll hurry on up. I'm gonna say that. Might as well give Speedy U-Haul a chance. Since there is so much traffic, we'll go the back roads. Oh, Porsche in front of us. left pull on the steering it's 
speedometer seems to be pretty correct. We're running about 35. As we're just driving down the road, oil pressure sitting at 50 and 190 on the engine temperature. Sorry about the blinding sun you're about to experience. It'll only be a brief second. <laughs> Nice little bump in the middle of the road here. You can listen, give you an idea on suspension, even though it's been pretty smooth. Here it is. Yeah, very smooth. Didn't even notice it. Good deal. Some cars you do, some cars you don't. Uh, I've said it before, I've been known to hit that bump before and hit my head into the sea limit. This one took it like a champ. We're right around the corner from the lot now. We're gonna go ahead and do picking out the flaws, so. Oh, I knew I need to go down in the first here. I put it in third. It's still pulling. That's how low the gearing is in this one. And of course, we've made it back, guys. Be sure to look at those detailed pictures. Hit subscribe if you like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's do it, I'm here to pick out the flaws. Walk around this ride, anything I find, you'll know about it. Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. So coming around this front end here, a little hazy on that front bumper, a little pity. Spots there, rust on the bolts. A little hazy on that grill. There's a spot here. There's a couple little dings there. And coming down this side, of course. Didn't look too bad. They sanded everything down, gave it that look. A little spot cracking there in the corner of that door. Sorry about my shadow here. Of course, it's going to be there. A little spot there. Best thing about this kind of paint job, you can really see everything. Coming back to your midsection. Dry rod around your gas cap there. Of course, they moved the gas cap into the bed here. And they got it out from behind the seat. Pitting on your door handle. Paired this stuff here. You got some scratches on your front windshield too. Ooh, that wind's cold. Somebody put some different mirrors on this one. spot there along in the bed on that back window seals got some dry cracks in it some chips right there a 
coming up on the back here. I love the color on the tailgate. Man, that looks awesome. That back bumper there has got a lot of pitting on it too. Coming down this side. some spots in the corner there no cracks there Over on top. Scratch on this side, the windshield shoots all the way over. It's very clean up under the hood. Let's check out the interior again. Get on this interior. I'm trying to be careful. There's a lot of static out here now that's getting cold. Learning techniques to not get shocked every time I get in and out of these vehicles. <laughs> a crusty there, surface rust. Down in the corner here, you got a little bit more. Same with the edge of that door. Down here on this floor. Matt's gonna crack in it there. But it looks pretty good. It's not too bad. The seat here is gonna need to be redone. It's gone. Let's put that back. I'm not gonna sit on the phone on the way home. <laughs> Behind it, somebody's added a couple speakers. Four speakers to be exact. The brake works. She starts up great. The motor sounds awesome on this one. You can see. Decent oil pressure and temperature. Oh shoot, y'all hear that? I got shocked anyways. <laughs> I'm telling you the statics out it's it's real out here right now. <laughs>
there. Again, up under the hood looks great. Nice and clean. Coming down with this hood. Huge. Shut's good. I don't pop the wiper off. How did I do that? Push it back on the right way. It just clicked. It's on there now. A little low. I guess I'm going to have to fix that. Guys, go to maplemotors.com, check out the detailed pictures, the finance and the shipping that we have available. I'm gonna keep making these videos for you, telling you anything that I find. You can look in the playlist below or on the channel here and see all the cars available. I do appreciate you watching. I'll see you later.